you got some, you didn't face him last year, but you got tape on Jeff George Jr. How is he different from Chase Crouch, and what does he bring to the Illinois offense? You know, uh, Crouch really, I'm just going back off memory, caught our attention last year. I believe it was in the Purdue game he came in and uh, really ran the ball effectively. So, you know, he, he uh, that's probably the best thing he does, quite frankly. I thought that was something he really uh, added dimension. He gave us, George is more of a thrower. So we got to see him last year, and then he played the second half for most of the second half South Florida game. So, you know, he throws the ball well. They've got a couple uh, good receivers. They've got Dudek back, number 18 is a really good player. Number four is a good freshman. They've got some good skill players. And, you know, we don't have a lot of tape to base it on, but we'll have to just be ready for everything. And, and my guess is maybe be ready for multiple quarterbacks. Yeah. 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 What have you seen from Illinois? Um, uh, they got a pretty good defense. You know, uh, got a uh, solid line. Um, fast, deep defensive backs. Got some good backers. Is this a must win for you? Every game is a must win. So not nothing extra this week? I mean, if we want to, like, um, if we want to stay on track, you know, um, completing our goals, every game is a must win for me. What do you see from Illinois so far on film? I mean, you know they're they're uh, super physical. You know they're gonna play hard every every play, and um, you know and they're continuing to grow just like us. The week they're playing, you know, uh, yeah, it definitely changes. Um, they're two different quarterbacks. Um, you know the guy before he was more of a runner, um, and they used him a lot in the run game. And you know he'll pull it down and scramble, um, and that was kind of his more first instinct, I guess. Um, and then with George, you know we'll have to watch more tape on him. I, you know we just found out the switch, but um, I think he's more of a. a I guess thrower, not as much of a, a run around scramble guy. So. Is that more like the Lunt offense, though, or kind of what you guys faced yeah, last year? Yeah, I mean, Lunt definitely was a pocket passer. Yeah. So, um, you know, the, the change will change stuff for us, um, just with our game plan and calls and front adjustments and stuff like that. But, uh, you know, it's good we found out at the beginning of the week versus at the end. So. What do you see, yep. see from Illinois? And they made a quarterback switch, obviously, so that's Yeah, I different. mean, the quarterback switch, and uh, they have some a lot of younger guys that are contributing. I mean, they got a lot of good younger uh, players um, up front on the line and the running back. I mean, they uh, they look pretty good. So. When you look at the film from them this year, though, it's going to be quite different, right? Their other quarterback was more of a, a run-first guy. Yep. I mean, uh, I think he ran the ball 50%, I think, yeah. is what we uh, had or the coaches had written up so and he's a big physical guy so uh, I mean this get, this guy that they're starting now is more of a pot, pocket passer so um, we just kind of got to do a good job of keeping them in and not letting them get out like last week. Illinois made a change at quarterback how's that impact your preparation? I think it's tough to you know, go back and look at film more and just uh, kind of study what the other quarterback his tendencies are and, so what do you like to do? So.